Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Another things what I did fix at the weekend machines is this Kirby G4. Very nice this is. I've been wanting to scratch my Kirby itch for a while and this came in because it, it smelt of burning. So I fixed it really. It's a very nice, uh, where do I look? Here we go. I'm sure that means 1989. Somebody tell me one. It's only 1935, isn't it? So 1989 Kirby G4 Tech Drive. And yes, I have polished it up a little bit. This bit came up the best, but only by hand with some metal polish. I'm, I haven't been paid to clean it all up. And quite frankly, I can't be bothered to. So, apart from the snap lower cord hook, which is fine, they're happy with that. They've owned it since new. They bought it for £800, they said, from a demonstration. And they've had it ever since then. Nice big old house in West Wickham. So, yeah. It's not bad. What the actual issue was... There was a sock jammed in the brush roll. There was a sock jammed in the brush roll. And then it had gunked itself up even further elsewhere so that was that brush roll is very worn and quite soft so she wants a new brush roll for it which i actually need to buy today must order that and a new belt because i put a pattern belt on with all the gunk in the brush roll it jammed and the belt spin the, the spindle wore through the belt in several places which is what the burning smell was and i put a pattern belt on but I can feel it slipping a bit, so I will buy a genuine belt for it. I also washed the bag. That's been through the washing machine, so we shall fix that shortly. But first, I want to do some... I need to do a little thing I was told. So let me go get a screwdriver, and we shall continue. There we go. So, Matthew Cole told me... If I undo all of these screws, oh, it's a screwdriver going to be man enough now. No, it is not. Hang on, that's a screwdriver is needed. There we go. This seems to be moving. Yeah, I posted up on the vacuum cleaners collectors Facebook page saying, "Oi, I've got this Kirby." Well, not oi. Hello, I have this Kirby in. What can I possibly do to it to improve its performance, but without? stripping the entire thing apart and basically fully refurbishing it and he said take the front off and behind the front you'll find it really gunked up with rubbish so that's what we're going to do once i've i don't think this has ever been apart oh, you can't see what i'm doing so there's two screws at the bottom these two screws at the top one and apparently I don't think I need to take that one out because that one holds the uh, is it? Oh, I don't know come on out you come you sod uh, let's take it out no I've not had a Kirby ever I had a G5, I didn't do this with it. Uh, we might need a pokey screwdriver. I think we need a prying driver. Oh wait, hang on, I've got this. So, ah, there is a flat blade set in this, so on, this might do it. You know, save me on to get up, let me just push it out. I haven't got much time for this video, so... I'm hoping it's not going to take forever. We still going to put the bag on. Ah, that didn't work. That just broke my bit, which is fine because it's only a rubbish old bit. Oh, hang on, so I've got to take... Eh, this is more than I wanted to do. I had to take all this off as well because that's not part of the deal and if I do then it's not happening there's one screw here if it's not this one screw up behind the power switch 
deals off, I'm afraid. This won't happen and we'll just put the bag on and say we tried. Okay, ah, there are two more screws here. Okay, let's just see these two screws. I'll let you off. Oh, they're shorter. Aha! So that bit comes off. Oh, look, it's the inside of a Kirby! Look at that. Utterly disgusting. But we're not here for that. Do not get side traps out. Do not get. Ah! Look at that. There's two more screws there, look. This is more involved than I was anticipating. Perhaps I should have done this tomorrow when, or when the bush. Oh, come on, don't start to round. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Oh, crumbs. Try to dig a bit and push it. I'm sorry if you can't see this, but. This screw is not happy. And it can't be not happy because I need it to come out. Oh. Come on. Otherwise, I, well, I'm going to leave that, spray it with WD-40, and I'll try this again in a day or two. So, we shall be back at this stage again. Stay tuned. I'll put the bag on another day. I thought I'd give it one more go off camera, and what do you know, it did it. It'll be fine to go back in. So, now how does this come off now? That's not quite as gunked up as I was hoping for, I'll be honest, Matthew, but I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, hang on. Well, there's that. That's not terrible. Let's pop that over there. Like so. That's, a 90, that's got 95 on it. Maybe it's not 1989, maybe it's 1995. This is the fan. Oh, they're Kevlar, aren't they? I don't think I'm going to bother taking that apart. I think that that be fine, like it is. I'm not taking the fan off. Well, we tried, but there wasn't really much need, so let's put it back on again. Oh well. Never know, do you? Maybe that means it's been a well-kept machine or they just haven't hoovered up any damp dirt. Anything is possible, isn't it? So we'll pop that back on there. But at least I've learned how to do it and I know what to do now if I get any more. Uh, put that there. Let's pop these in. One there, one here. Right, that's not right, is it? These two go in there. Yes, they do. And we need to put the cover on, don't we? 
like so. That sits on there like that. We need these two smaller screws in here. We should turn it around because I need to let's put the handle back on because that will make this easier to fit on the cable grip. Cord grip, cable grip, what the Kirby call it. Don't suppose it really matters, does it? It needs to go on whatever happens, so that can go there. Oh wait, no, hang on, I'm doing this the wrong way around, people. These two back screws went on first, didn't they? Oh, I had the tech drive and drive. <gasps> the Kirby police are going to tell me off. It's a horrible screwdriver. One, two. One day I'll get my own Kirby again and we can all see how it works and... I'll do have to back off. And we'll take it apart. And I'll do a full refurb on it. Might even invest in a polishing wheel for my bench grinder. Although it's not a very powerful bench grinder, so I'll probably have to get a better bench grinder. So your little hobby one. De-rusting metal for my Senior 652C, which I need to get some different paint for because it's got the wrong shade of white on it. You can feel it slowing down with that. So, let's put the tools away. We try. Thank you, Matthew. Worth a crack, eh? Like I say, it could have been utterly full of shite. One never knows. So, yeah. All right, we'll put this back on. Lovely. No, that's not on. Well, I used to ride a G5, this should be easy. There we go. Yeah, that's on. Put the belt back on. Ooh. Look at all the birds are on the fence. Greedy bastard, get off the bird food. So, I did wash the bag. We need to put the bag back on. She gave me a brand new bag to fit, but it was so clean, I didn't bother. So, we need to get, I can't quite remember how this came off. I think it, the bag fill tube went in, then this all went over the top. That's it, then the big weird cable tie that's not a cable tie goes on. Oh, am I going to regret not having an actual flat base screwdriver to help put this back on? Let's do this bit first, because this other bit's more likely to just slip on, I think. But yeah, the, the, the washing machine certainly looks utterly, utterly filthy when it was in, so hopefully it's going to have made a difference. It wasn't particularly dirty, I'll be honest, but it was just clogged. I think so there we go I'll put that on and stick it over where it needs to go come on it's all getting caught up all right So, yeah. apologies. For that. Let me pause and get this stupid clip on. Ta da! Done! Done, 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 done. So, we'll put the M Tor back on. This is 
quite stiff, so lovely. It will clip the cover back onto the top of the bag because I didn't want that to go in the washing machine. So we'll pop the Herbie Micron Magic Filtration panel on. Not that does the filtration, it's just the advertising. Then I need to clip the bag fill tube back onto the bag holder, tube holder thing, so like that, lovely, and then this is the bag it came with, she did give me a brand new bag to fit, but I haven't because this bag has literally been used like twice, so I'm not wasting a bag, I told her so as well, so I'm not fitting this bag, this one's not been used, wasteful people! There we go. It's obviously sicked out some dust because I don't remember putting that on the floor. So we'll plug it in and we'll have a play. I'm not going to hoover the sofa with it. Vacuum. Vacuum the sofa with it. It's not a hoover. I think it sounds alright. And apart from the brush one, it works alright too. Here we go. smell the belt slipping in that long carpet and it doesn't work quite as well that is that's electrolux there works better so hopefully a new brush roll will make a difference and a genuine belt we'll have a look when it arrives when this video shall continue so it's been a few days but I have some post came earlier on today for the Kirby. What have we? Well, in this small package, we have a genuine belt. Possibly not the cheapest way to buy a belt at £3.50 for one, but I didn't want to buy three. But this is the most exciting part. Look, a brand new, genuine, apparently, brush roll, which is immaculate, apart from that little bit of fluff there. There we go, so we need to get this into there. Move all that out of the way. I shall lift the hood, turn the do belt thingy me. Ah, lovely. 
Right, we'll turn the belt lifter back to get the horrible pattern belt off. And have a look. Now, remember this slip, didn't it? And I can see on that edge, it is a little bit worn, but in fact, it might also be, it's either a little bit stretched or because it's not a G4 belt, it is a little bit bigger. So yeah, as much as I am an advocate for pattern parts, for Kirby, probably not the best thing. Let's, com wow, let's compare the brush vault. Right, it is the same size, that's good. Look at the difference in that. If I put there, the brushes are a fair bit longer. Not by much, but they're more defined. They're a lot stiffer for a start, a lot stiffer. I can't really get that across on the film, but it is a fair bit better. And obviously it looks a lot nicer too. So that can go in the rubbish pile. And we shall pop the new belt on. Now, I'm not entirely sure which end needs to go where actually. Oh hang on, this might say, so one is for long, two is for medium and three is for worn. But I don't know which flipping way up it needs to go. So let's try it upwards. So there's the one on that side. There's the one on that side. Will it fit? Ah, no. So I shall rotate it once more. Gosh, I hope this is the correct part. Uh-oh. It's not for G4. I, hang on. Hang on, hang on. That's just gone in the other side with oodles of room to spare. I reckon this is handed. Yes, that side. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. They're differently sized, so that, that end has to go in there. And this end has to go in here. So that's lucky. So theory now we just push it home. Oh, it's not got it in square. I think it's got it in square actually. No, that end is still not quite right. Oh, I mean, this is trickier than I thought, especially since I haven't had one before. One of my own to actually play about with. So you're in there. Oh, there we go. That's 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 sitting better. I now need to hope or help. Oh no! Must stop doing that. There we go. So that's lifted onto there. We'll put the base plate back on. Once I've aligned the front tabs. Oh, that's very stiff. Ow. Let's use the old brush holder. I don't like that. That's not gone in as nicely as I'd like. But it's in. That one doesn't seem to want to go as well, but it's in. Let's bring the cleaner over. Just clean, brush off that rubber seal. We know when the side's fine and the fan is passable. So with both sides hooked on. We just spin the brush roll by hand just to check it's all sitting okay, which it is. I suppose what's left now is for me to take the cable off 
which I've had to put around the handle because it's been sitting in the car. Go and find some power. Ah, we moved the unit up. Ah, I know where there's power. <laughs> I'll plug Amy's phone charger. Right, let's just check that it actually does spin. <laughs> track marks before did it this carpet's very difficult to have track marks in that one came up very well no smelling of belt the LED was brighter I would class that as a full success so thank you very much for watching my little Kirby video nice little job this I don't know if you're extras bag's been washed it's got a new brush roll which should make it perform a lot better she wasn't too keen on the idea so I'm hoping that she sees the benefit from it I certainly have look at that so I am I do keep trying to get a Kirby they always go for more than my tiny budget there's one for 25 pounds on a local Facebook site but literally by the time I saw it it gone which was a cry so that was a nice heritage too complete so one day it will happen but for now this is scratchy itch a bit I've got it for the weekend so I'll probably run it around tomorrow properly give the place a good thorough curbing so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye